Diamond Scrolls, where I tell you all about some of the best books out there. I'm currently getting through the Walking Dead series. So this episode, we're looking at book two. It's pretty clear from our last episode that I'm pretty Walking Dead obsessed, and book two just makes that even stronger. Everyone knows Michonne by now, and she actually shows up in the hardcover book two. I'm not sure, um, it's probably about comic book 13 or 14 maybe that she shows up, but for the hardcover fans, it's in book two, and you can see her. Obviously, being The Walking Dead, it does deal with some pretty, I guess you'd kind of say mature content, and gore, and you know, there's a lot of things in there that are definitely not suitable for a younger audience, and if you're particularly sensitive to any of those kind of scenes, uh, fair warning, there's a lot of that in here. But if you've watched the TV show, you've got a fair idea of what's going on, and I guess if you're any kind of horror fan, then you know what's going on. In this book, we're sort of more settling into the world, so the rules have been pretty much set up, and um, we understand how the zombies work, and the group mentality, while it does shift from time to time as a result of certain events, like, you get the idea of what's going on with this group and who plays what role and if new people come in like you, you sort of know how that's going to go down it, it's not so much of a surprise now so you sort of feel like you belong and you know what's going on which means the plot can move on a lot more and the comics go deeper into certain topics which is cool because you know with a tv show you've got so many minutes and that's it your screen time's up but with a comic book there is no time you you just you're free to tell the story. I think that's why I usually prefer books over other sort of entertainment because with a book you can really get into someone's head or really get into the story down to the most minute details which sometimes television and movies don't let you do. Book two is really interesting because it's got some iconic lines in there. I'm not going to spoil anything but one of the most iconic lines that was only recently said in the TV show is actually already said in book two, which is interesting, like it happens quite early on. And um, I'm not sure how many years have actually passed in the TV show. I was trying to figure it out and I thought maybe it was a year or a season or something, but they've actually talked about it and it's only something like two or three years. But with how much Carl's grown up, that doesn't really match up so it's a little bit confusing but in the comic book um, it, it sort of keeps a little bit more time it is kind of mentioned one of the characters is actually keeping a calendar so you sort of know roughly when things are happening and you know there's more representation of the seasons changing and stuff oh and um, Rick also loses it much earlier in the comic books than he does in the TV show which I thought was interesting I mean, the whole Rick Tatership thing and all of that is addressed really, really early, whereas in the TV show it took a little bit longer. So it's kind of interesting to see how he starts to lose touch. And I guess, like, the circumstances as to why it all happens are a little bit different in the comic books. And it's not so much in the comics that he loses touch, it's just, I don't know, I think the pressure of being the leader. I mean, who would want to be Rick Grimes in this situation? So all those pressures kind of build up on him and people are starting to expect a little bit too much and at the end of the day, he's just a guy that wants to keep his wife and child safe and now he's got all these people looking up to him and he tries to set rules like you kill, you die and some of these rules, you know, they come back to bite him. It doesn't really work. They're living in a world where all the conventional ideals are out and you've just got to, you know, we go back to the old rules, as Fear the Walking Dead says. It's, you just, you've got to make it up as you go along, sort of thing. Because we, we haven't had to live under the old rules, I guess, I'm kind of rambling a little bit. But, I don't know, it's just, it's interesting to see the difference, because they've got more time with the comic books, so they can really dive into what's going on in Rick's head, and what other people are thinking about it. And I really liked that, because... I mean, I love TV show Rick, but it kind of, it happens pretty quick, and, you know, it's not like a, a slow progression in the books, like, you, you do know it's coming, and it kind of comes on a bit quick, but you sort of 
you get more reasoning why and you get to see what Rick's really thinking because it's it's just easier to get into that sort of stuff in a comic as it is than it is in a TV show. I think that's pretty much all I've got to say about book two. I don't want to go into too much detail in case I spoil it. I mean, the TV show is out there and you do get an idea of where the story's going, but the TV show is actually a little bit different and it does skip over some things or some characters are a little bit different. So I think I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. If you've read the comics, please let me know what you think. And if you've got any books or comics or anything that you'd like to see on Sammy School, please let me know. I am over on Facebook, so come on over and have a chat. Or, you know, I'm here on YouTube, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. But thank you so much for watching. Take care until I see you next time. Bye!